Hello everyone, welcome back. We're continuing on with the Pokemon Legends Arceus playthrough. Okay, so... Uh, let's see now. Haven't done much. Actually, hold on. Okay, that's fine. So before I go into the story, I'm just going to set up camp. Basically, I just need to beat up three Stunky in a three-on-one battle. Really wish uh, the moves were multi-hit, but yeah, they aren't. Also, uh, <clears throat> I am using the new microphone. Again, no pop filter, so I'm still experimenting with that. Uh, apologies if the audio is a bit messed up, but yeah. Whoa there, I'd keep your distance if I were you. Just look at those bothers. They're taking up the spot where I was going to set up a base camp. So just do it next to them. One stunky would be a headache, but this little group is a full-blown migraine. Maybe I can get someone else from the team to handle this. Someone good at battling. I'll do it. Are you sure you're up to this though? They stink something fierce. Good thing I have no sense of smell. Leave it to me. Well, if you insist, but you've got to beat three of them, so be ready to run. And stay downwind. Again, no sense of smell. I can handle the stench. Whether or not my coworkers can handle the stench. Different story. Let's go right on. It hit them all. Oh well. Okay, agile style bulldoze. Again, this is not gonna be an issue at all. I'm more than double their level. And all of their moves? Ineffective. Dosing them all, literally. Empty down. Oof. Oh no, he was poisoned. Well, I love getting in the way. Photos. Luckily, I don't take damage. And they're down. You weren't kidding, you've got talent. And your Pokemon were so brave, too. I can't believe you handled three Stunky all by yourself without getting smelly. Thanks to you, we can get the base camp set up now. Hold on a minute. Hey, new base camp. There we go, what do you think? Makes things, <clears throat> make things feel a little safer out there, no? There's not a whiff of Stunky here either. Stop by any time. Yeah, you're right. Not a whiff of stunky, just swamp. I am now Shrek. Who'll be approaching? Uh, this makes a second base camp for us to use in the Crimson Mirelands. Perhaps some stunky will pop by for fun and games sometimes, eh? Wouldn't that be a treat? I mean, personally, I don't care. Let me just deposit some items. Uh, let's just swap out some Pokemon. Want to see what? Oof. <laughs> That's not nice. Crap. Uh, what's this right on thing again? Hardy, okay, it's neutral. Onyx is level 50. 
kind of wish it wasn't minus defense, but at least not plus special attack. I uh, should be good. I kind of want to swap out either Sonic, a uh, Sanic, or Rapidash. But yeah. Just because there really isn't a point in me having both. Uh, and Onyx is just like fucking overleveled. Actually, no. Wait, you're still here? Odo. I could use a rest. Let's sleep till morning. Heal up. Ursula Luna. I have no idea what his type is. I actually didn't know Ursula Luna was a thing. Like, it's an actual Pokemon, apparently. I thought it was just, like, a nickname for it, but... Yeah. I actually will be going in blind, which means I will want to actually bring a different Pokemon. Holy crap. I don't know what's effective on it. I do like how they actually... Uh, incorporated... The fact that Teddy also has a crescent moon uh, pattern on its head. I'm I'm assuming uh, Ursa Luna evolves from Ursa Ring. I would hope so anyway. What did I want? We have a rock and ground type though. Hmm. Okay, I know. Two thirty one, definitely a lot tankier in only one sense though. Unless I were to evolve it. Speed one thirteen oh that that's kinda sad. <laughs> Um, who do I want to use? Because I'm basically limited to just Onyx at this point. <laughs> Shit. Because I haven't really used any of the other ones, aside from Alphas, but I wouldn't really... They aren't exactly up to snuff. Then again, I'm pretty sure I'm overleveled at this point. Actually, are any of them... Ugh, crap. Not Rhyhorn, not Carnivine, maybe Skuntank? No, never mind. Burrow, no. Charlie, here. Big sad. I got a big doof. Actually, while I'm here. Whoops. Or should I do B E E G? Oh well. Or big oof. Okay. <laughs> Ursa Luna. I could definitely use grass type moves on it. Except it's really, really slow. And I really have no idea uh, what kind of moves it's packing. I'm guessing it's normal type, possibly ice type. Oh no, I associate the moon with ice or something like that. Whoops. Uh... <laughs> Oh, 
What is this thing? Uh, three, six, nine, ten. Okay, three, six, nine. Okay, we're going with this one then. It's probably gonna bite me in the ass. Just set some moves. Uh, yeah, that's actually fine. They should all be fine at this point. I need to double check his stats, which I could have did from the previous screen. Oops. I'm kind of afraid to lead with pecs. Oh well. Let's do this. Isn't that supposed to be a... Wait, no, I see, I see the unknown. Make sure this is not over here. Yeah, I see the unknown. Sweet. Unknown M. Uh, let's make sure there's nothing else. Really worried about Pex here. Really worried. Okay, let's do this. Over here, Rosina. How convenient. She's got an umbrella. Miss Luna is enraged, yes. But he must still recall the long relationship with the Pearl ca bleh, Clan. He never fails to show up the moment I play my Celestica flute. Oh damn! What the hell's with his eyebrows? <laughs> I this is the first time I've seen Ursa Luna. Now show your metal to Ursa Luna. Remember that Ursa Luna, Ursa Luna is a Pokemon very dear to the Pearl Clan. I will not permit you to catch. <laughs> no. Oh, so we just okay, sweet. What? Didn't I? Didn't I switch it around? Bodo. Uh oh. Isn't this perfective? Shit. Hold on. Ground norm. Oops. Ground normal. I, I just wanna like take a look at. Damn. It's covered in dirt. Gotcha. Well, that kind of makes it easier for me then. Ground and that. Uh, yeah, how did Rhydon get sent out first? Pex is up. <laughs> I got BS. So much BS. Grounded normal. I 
All right, Pax. Let's go. Close combat. Let's go. Let's go. I'm probably gonna regret this. Uh oh. Oh damn. Well. One close combat. Whoops. Okay. Actually does no, okay. Close combat again. And you're done. Wow, that was um really underwhelming, I'm not gonna lie. I can catch up to level 80 Pokemon. Where's the Luna, my poor darling? Must be exhausted from running around like that. Come, let me make you all better. I have, a, I have here a special medicine of the Pearl Clan. It'll clear out any poison in a Pokemon's body. It poisons what's causing Ursuna's rage. This is sure to calm him down. We call it Toxicon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's so potent that we can only use it on tough resilient Pokemon like Ursaluna. There, there, dear Ursaluna. You've come down now, haven't you? Probably not. This is all very strange, though. He wasn't really frenzied. Very astute of you, Gatsu team recruit. You're exactly right. When you quelled Cleveworth Frenzy, I could see the strange light rising into the sky all the way from here. But no such strange light erupted from Ursaluna after you defeated him, nor was he glowing. I mean, didn't Arezu or Kamado mention that it's not just like those special Pokemon? I think Ursaluna is just. He might not necessarily be like a descendant. He's just special to the clan. And what is this clinging to Ursuluna's coat? It seems like some kind of powder. A girl from the Diamond Clan, Arezu. Now why did she of all people find the need to come and tell me about Ursuluna, I wonder? Oh, but I almost forgot something important. Play your Celestial Flute for me, won't you? Oh, it's gonna... Is... Is Ursuluna for strength? Using strength, I mean? So Luna opened his heart and learned about the sound of your playing. Sick. Earthplate. Ursa Luna is very good at finding things that are buried in the... Ooh. You say that he's digging for treasure, even if the treasures may not always glitter or gleam. Nose nuggets? <laughs> How come that your commander know of what transpired here? Child of the galaxy team. Brr. <laughs> Dig for treasure. Okay, Ursuluna will rush toward any treasure he says is in front of him. Press Y to dig for treasure. <laughs> in what sense? Nope. Oh crap. <laughs> Old versus not. Oh, the hell? Sure, I'm not gonna narrate this. 
Oh. Is this the... I was gonna say the flesh grew back. Okay, maybe not. I'll head back to Kamado. I just want to see if there's anything else around here. Hopefully it doesn't go right into this. It is going right to the story. Okay. <clears throat> You're back. Get to the commander's office quick. I mean, if it doesn't force me to, I'm not going to. Ooh, styles in stock. Let me just show you the hippo first. I'm just showing, right? Wow. I never thought just a change of changing color would lead to such a different impression for the same Pokemon. You should see Hippowdon. That's definitely inspired me. Give me just one moment. Please have a look at the newest entries to my shop's lineup. Nah. I'll do it later. Hold up, let me just... Uh, three Leaf Pokemon. It's only Oddish. Three leaves in the Crimson Mirelands. Yeah, I can only think of Oddish for that, but I didn't run into any. Okay, not that one. Cherim, nope. Balloon Race, nope. Purple Rose, Rosalia. Nope. Okay. Let me just quickly talk to this dude. Mushroom cake set. Sure, why not? Only way to travel. <laughs> okay, let's see. They're here. Rosina, we have a situation here. Let me explain. Legant, our clan's Lady of the Ridge, is in a frenzy. Rezu knowingly kept us from. <laughs> oh no. The Lady of what? Yes, they're only female Legant, which makes this honored one our Lady of the Ridge. This isn't the time for cultural lessons. Of course it is, always time. I'd like to find out just what Rizzo was thinking. She's nowhere in Jubilife Village. Last I saw, she was at the Wallflower, polishing off a big old plate of potato mochi. Not that I blame her, my cooking is simply irresistible after all. If a Rizzo of the Diamond Clan had somehow involved, uh, was somehow involved in that situation with the raging Rizzo Luna of the Pearl Clan, it could lead to the two clans going at each other's throats again. Tell me, Commander, if we do end up in a struggle with the Pearl Clan, what will your people do? Fuck off! Good answer. We would be forced to remain neutral. Meaning what? If we were to show support for one side, it would put us at odds with the other. We came here to create a home for ourselves, not to take part in tearing the land apart. Right, of course. 
After all the work you put in to get us to treat one another as equals and keep us from fighting, I suppose it's no surprise you'd refuse to intervene if trouble were to break out again. Rosina, perhaps you have some idea how we might address this situation? I could call Ursaluna. Ursaluna? So he and Warden Caliba found you worthy? That's perfect then. <laughs> oh no. Ursaluna should be able to sniff out Arezu wherever she's gone. If you're strong enough that Ursaluna deemed you worthy, then you should be ready to quell Lilligan's frenzy as well. I'll head to Lilligan C. Then. Uh, Brava Arena, it's called. If you'll excuse me. I was... I unlocked the... Oh, sorry, not unlocked. I walked into that area, so it's on the map. I never actually went in, though. Listen well, Rosina. You must quell any Pokemon that could cause harm to the people of Hisui. Always remember, we came here to make a new home where we could live without war or strife. Oh, do I have news for you, then? You might... Oh, uh, no, I'm not gonna say it. Did it just say to sniff out Arezu? <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh no. Sniff out Arezu. <laughs> Wait, did, did it say blue signal? Blue signal, okay. So that is actually important. Okay, I'm just going to end it now. I'm just going to take care of a few things on my end. Uh, the This episode should be out in the next few hours. The following one probably in the same day. Yeah, it should be. Okay, thanks for watching and till next time.